It seems quite a long time ago that we first started this process of reviewing our strategic plan and it's been amazing to see it to come to fruition. But I thought it was really important that we just took a few minutes to be able to explain to everyone what we've done so far, but also to give a sense of where hopefully we'll be able to go to during the course of the next few years. We've certainly felt after the pandemic that not only had the experience of children shifted, I think, but also the wider educational landscape had changed and there were some opportunities that presented themselves, lessons really from COVID, that we felt really we need to look more deeply into to make sure that our young people were really as prepared as well as they could be for life in the coming years. Our young people are already having a fantastic experience here. They achieve great results, they get involved in all aspects of our co-curricular programme. But what we really hope to achieve with this 2030 programme is going beyond the, I suppose, the traditional notion of what an education should be and really having a strong focus on that really broad range of skills and competencies which we think young people will need to be a success. Not only to achieve great results in the future but also to make sure they're contributing positively to the society in which they live in. I've always had a strong belief in I suppose, what one might call a, a liberal arts approach to education. We're trying to prepare young people for a world which is going to be changing, it's going to be challenging and they've got to be really creative to respond to those challenges. So are they resilient? Are they creative? Are they able to be evaluative? Are they able to get on with people and work in groups as well? And fundamentally, are they able to be adaptable because they're going to have to respond to a lot during the course of their lifetime. We made a very deliberate decision with our CHS 2030 document not to structure it in a traditional way, looking at pastoral, academic, co-curricular, etc. Because we recognise that the educational experience features so many aspects which are interconnected. So we really needed to think very carefully about how do we get our young people to a position where we want them to be and how do we get the school to where it wants to be. So therefore we settle on the three pillars. We want to inspire our young people to develop great interest and pursue their passions, to be the very best people that they can be. But we also wanted to ensure that we're empowering them with the tools so that they could achieve all their goals. And finally the sustain pillar was critical because sustainability is about managing the self and that is such a big part of our focus at the moment. We've already had a, a very strong sense of pastoral care in the school, even from when we were boarding school. But I don't think well-being has, has ever been as important as it is now post-pandemic. So there will be some challenges for us. And I think probably the biggest one, honestly, is we've set ourselves a really ambitious strategic plan in CHS 2030. There's a lot that we want to work on. And a challenge always will be to ensure that we can deliver on this.